freedom with God. Praise be to God and Shema, O Israel. Listen, O Israel, the awakening of the mind and the soul. In the Gospel of John, chapter 13, 19 to 21 says, I tell you this now, before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am He. Very truly I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the world today, most of us live in slavery of some or the other idols in our lives. We struggle to come out of this slavery. Finally, we give up and lead a life in slavery as we get addicted to our sins. The psalmist warns us in Psalms 128, 1 and 2, Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to Him. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessing and prosperity will be yours. How is it then that I seek you, Lord? Since in seeking you, my God, I seek a happy life. Let me seek you so that my soul may live. For my body draws life from my soul and my soul draws life from you. In the letter of, to the Hebrews 12.28, it says, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us give thanks by which we offer to God an acceptable worship with reverence and awe. We all want to live a happy life. In the whole human race, there is no one who does not assent to this proposition, even before it is fully articulated. In the Gospel of John, chapter 1, 16 to 17, we read, From his fullness we have all received, grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses, Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Life teaches us a lot of lessons and especially when we are always falling away from God's path which we need to understand that this is the only path to belief and trust in Jesus Christ whom God the Father has sent. In Psalms 125.2 As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds His people from this time on and forevermore. Life is a fight and every one of us are battling the evil one who has put us and kept us in the bondage of sin which has enslaved us. When we think of giving up, that is where God's mighty power comes to reality. Again in the letter to the Hebrews 13, 6-8, the scripture says, So we can say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke the word of God, do you consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. There will be a point in our lives where we need to encourage ourselves and say that I am a child of God. I will overcome slavery and God will lift me from the dungeons of my addictions, my slavery to the love of the world and to freedom. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 3, 22 says, Do not fear them, 
for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. Again remember the scripture from Exodus 14:14 says the Lord will fight for you and you only have to keep still. Saint Paul reminds us in his letter to the Romans 8:37 No in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us for i am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god in christ jesus our lord today The Lord is asking each one of us to be courageous. Shema, listen. God wants to free us from slavery to freedom. Are we ready to surrender ourselves to him? The choice is left to us. If we surrender, we will be out of our slavery and to freedom. This is Anand Joseph for Kadosh Marian Ministries